living through history as we speak. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has already made a mark that will be taught for generations to come. But how are teachers and professors handling teaching this topic in real time? As this is unfolding, we're actually talking about these exact problems in class. It's making history. It already is a big historical event. It's affecting economics. The economic principle that involves uh, something like this and then economic sanctions get levied. And it's a difficult topic to cover. It's interesting because in my geography class uh, that we had last week, it just happened to be the week that we talked about Russia. A topic that can't be ignored. Teachers are now put in an interesting position on how to teach the Russia-Ukraine conflict in real time. Two Providence professors sat down with me to explain their approach. And we see the consequences of that. It's really nice to be able to, uh, to show students in the classroom, this is actually how it happens, this is how it applies in the real world. In U.S. history, uh, we're actually going to be moving into World War II, so we'll be talking about the rise of the Axis, the you know Hitler's accession of power, and and all the, the things that he was doing to try to expand the Third Reich, which is not unlike what some of the excuses Putin was using. Now, college-age students are much more understanding, but for younger kids, this topic can be incredibly confusing. I spoke with Andrea Savage, who is the mental health coordinator for the Great Falls Public Schools. She offered some insight on how to talk to your kids about a topic like this. It's important for us to talk about it and to normalize you know, their fears, their anxieties, or even maybe their depression around these really huge, big topics. Social media has played a huge part in fluctuating information. We have so much access to information, um, you know, just in almost instantaneously. It's really important, specifically if you have younger kids, to really monitor their exposure to media. And remember to limit your own amount of consumption. As adults want to know what's going on, so maybe we keep the TV on 24-7, but you also have to keep in mind that kids um, are watching that and they're hearing that. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News.